It seems like mirrorless and DSLR cameras are getting more features from actual production cameras, but at a cost. Either they overheat, there's a crop factor, or they require additional gear to emulate features featured in production cameras. So I asked my friends from Lens Pro to Go to send me a reasonably affordable production camera, the Canon C200, and see how it compares to a mirrorless camera like the Sony A7 III. Now, right off the bat, the C200 and the a7 III look similar, but it's when you really look into the details of the image, like dynamic range, motion blur, and overall cinematic quality, that gives the C200 the edge as the better camera. And it's not just the cinematic quality, but the actual features on a production camera that make it advantageous for professional work. Features like XLR inputs, internal ND filters, global shutter, high bit video recording, and even the physical design of a production camera make it really ideal for professional work like commercials and films. Now, don't get me wrong, mirrorless and DSLR cameras have great features too, and can be used for professional work, but just not at the level of actual production cameras, let's be honest. Now this video is not meant to compare apples to oranges. Obviously the Canon C200 is way better because it is an actual production camera. But the reason why I wanted to make this video is because of our demand to have all these features in a prosumer mirrorless or DSLR camera. It's gotta have this, it's gotta have that, it's gotta have this, it's gotta have everything else the production camera like the C200 has, but in a mirrorless body. And honestly, if you really want all that stuff, you may as well get a production camera. It's great that mirrorless and DSLR cameras are improving, but we just can't expect them to function exactly like production cameras without some trade-offs. And yes, I'm, I'm totally at fault for being one of those people as well, demanding all these features in a prosumer camera body, like internal variable ND filters, uh, 10-bit or 12-bit internal raw recording. So it's not just you, it's me as well. But at the end of the day, production cameras are designed for professional work, and prosumer cameras are designed for, well, prosumer work. But for kicks and giggles, let's check out how the C200 compares to a mirrorless camera like the Sony a7 III. Now we're filming with both cameras. I got the a7 III on this side with the 16 to 35 G master lens and the Canon C200 on this side with the 16 to 35 L series lens. I've set up both cameras side by side and tried to match the frame as close as I can. Both cameras set up at f2.8, ISO 100, uh, HLG for both cameras, 24 frames a second, although with the C200 it's at 23.98. But I wanted to do something a little bit different with the C200 when it comes to shutter speed. Now with the a7 III, the shutter speed is at 1 50th of a second, but with the C200, I actually didn't choose shutter speed, I chose angle. And with that option alone, it not only reduces rolling shutter, but it kind of gives it this more cinematic look when it comes to motion blur. Oh, and the other thing that I'm doing with the C200 is that I am filming at 12-bit raw internally on a CFast card versus on the a7 III, 8-bit compressed on an SD card. So compressed, raw. So I filmed about 20 minutes of footage with the Canon C200 in 12-bit RAW uh, on the CFast card. And um, a 20 minute, actually an 18 minute video file is 110 gigs. Oh my gosh. That's just, that's just a lot of data packed into that RAW file. And so if you are wanting a production camera and you do want to shoot 12-bit RAW or more, then just keep that in mind. You might want to have a system in place to, to handle all that data. Now, as I'm importing the footage to my computer and most likely playing Call of Duty, let's chat about the advantages of using a mirrorless or DSLR camera. First of all, they are great for YouTube and Instagram. Like me, most of you will probably fall in this category of hybrid shooting, meaning you enjoy shooting videos and photos with just one camera. Second, mirrorless and DSLR cameras are small and easy to travel with. If you wanted your mirrorless or DSLR camera to emulate a production camera, then you have to get additional gear like a cage, an external monitor, XLR input adapters and a bunch of other things that defeat the purpose of a small and lightweight camera. And lastly, mirrorless and DSLR cameras are way more affordable than actual production cameras. We are all poor. Okay, back to Call of Duty. I mean the video. Oh, I just imported those raw files straight into Premiere Pro and boom, no conversion needed. Works perfectly fine. Ah, oh, so happy. Oh, hey, what are you doing over here? You wanna say hi? 
Hi. <laughs> okay, go away. Okay, right away, the footage on the C200 just looks way better than the Sony a7 III. Way better. Okay, so now we are in Premiere Pro. We're just gonna do a quick color grade on both footage. Let's start out with a Canon C200. And uh, here we go, I'm pushing and pulling the dynamic range of the video footage. And because it was shot in RAW, you get all this leeway, all this data to manipulate the colors, the exposure really well. Where with the 8-bit footage with the Sony a7 III, you still can push it as much as you can, but then it just breaks apart severely if you do it too much like this. And that's just the advantage of shooting with an actual production camera like the C200 that shoots in 12-bit RAW. And rightly so, because it's an expensive camera. And the last thing that I wanna say is that there's no such thing as the perfect camera to do everything. We can wish all day long for a production camera features in mirrorless and DSLR cameras, but again, at a cost. You, the creator, have to decide which camera is going to work for you and the projects you work on. Well, that's it. That's the video that I wanted to make for you guys. Again, not a video comparing the C200 and the a7 III technically, but this video was really just to address the issue of our incessant demands of production features in a prosumer mirrorless camera body or DSLR if you're if you're into that. Huge thanks to Lens Pro to Go for sending me the C200 to play with. And if you are looking to rent some gear for your projects, then definitely check out Lens Pro to Go. Get 15% off your rental using my link below. And also, huge, huge thanks to all of you watching. We are so close to 100,000 subscribers, guys. I am so excited. So subscribe if you haven't done so, and I will see you cool cats and kittens in the next one. Peace. <laughs>